Hey guys, Tom Photoex here. In this video, I'm going to really quickly go through how to make a watermark just in Lightroom. Uh, I previously did a video showing you how to do it in Lightroom and Photoshop uh, by creating your own graphic, but in this one, it's just purely in Lightroom. So the first thing we need to do is go over up to the Edit module and click on Edit Watermarks. And that'll bring up this box, which I'll just make a little bit bigger for you. Okay, so you can see we've got our picture there and here you can choose text or graphic. In the last video I did graphic and if you want to go see that I'll put a link in the description. But in this video we're just going to use uh, text and I'll show you how to do that now. You see down here we've got the text copyright. In there you can write whatever you want. I'm just going to write Photoix 2013. And then coming back over we can choose a font. Choose any font you want, one that looks decent. I think I'll go with that one. You can choose the style, regular, bold, bold or italic. And you can choose a line left, center or right. We're going to leave that for now. You can choose the color. You notice it's only tones of white and gray and black. Over here we've got shadow. You can add a drop shadow to make it look a bit more snazzy. You can change the opacity of the shadow can change the offset and change the radius and the angle just play around with those get it looking how you want you can change the actual opacity of the watermark itself you can see that it's full on there it's gone there it's full on there it's gone and I just put it down a little bit to about 70 ish here you can change the size of the watermark you can have it massive or you can have it tiny or you can fit to the frame or you can fill the frame. I'm just going to have mine down a little in the corner. You've got the inset. This moves it in and out of the frame from side to side on the horizontal or up and down in the vertical. So you can place it pretty much wherever you want. And then down there we have anchor points which anchor the text up to wherever you click it. And then you can change the horizontal and the vertical again. Uh, from those points so you've got pretty good placement system in here I'm just going to leave mine down in the left hand corner and then stick it down nestled into the bottom a bit you can also change the size using those little grab squares there uh, makes it a bit quicker and once you've sorted that out you're almost ready to go Okay, so that's your basic watermark done. Now I need to save that as a preset. So come up to custom. You see I've already got a few different presets in there already. And then save current settings as new preset. Name it whatever you want. I'm going to name mine Photoix and click create. Okay, your preset's now made and your watermark's ready to go. So now all we need to do is click done. Now the first thing you'll notice is that my watermark is not on that photo. That is because Lightroom does not automatically put watermarks in the develop module or in the library module onto photographs. You actually have to tell it to do it yourself when you export. And you do that like this. Go to file and export. And you'll see I've got all the other export things already set up. Just going to change that to the desktop so I don't want it in there. And then go down to watermarking and click on watermark. You'll see one of my other ones already comes up. And you'll see there Photoix. That's the one I just made. So if I clicked on export now, that would export my photo with that little Photoix watermark on it to where I've told it to go. And what I can actually do now is create another preset, an export preset. And I'll go to add. Again, just call it something. I'm going to call it Photoix WM create now that preset when I export will export the photo with all these different settings so it'll send it to the desktop it'll have it'll be a JPEG it will be 46 in quality pro photo RGB it will be resized to 800 and it will have my little watermark on I'm not going to do it now but I will just show you how to actually export it go to file export with preset and 
then you can see that down at the bottom, my preset that I just made, photo XWM. So every time you want to batch export images or just do it separately, you can do it using that preset and then it's really quick. So you can select as many Im uh, as many images as you want doing it that way. So that makes batch exporting really, really good. I'm just going to do it singly just to show you. Now it'll export to my, desk uh, to my desktop. Here it's somewhere. There it is. So I'll just open that for you. On the other screen, drag it in. There you go, you can see my watermark down there. I hope that was helpful guys. If you have any questions or comments, please just leave it in the box below. I'm also on Google+, Facebook and Twitter. All the links are in the boxes below. Cheers guys.